What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I typically do new car, truck, and SUV reviews on YouTube, but today's video, I wanted to switch it up. And so every now and then I will cover warranties in the actual reviews of the vehicles that I do. But a lot of the time, since I can't actually review a warranty, I don't always mention it. So I did want to make this video the top 10 auto manufacturer warranties for the 2020 model year, because there has been some changes for the 2020 model year actually. And the other thing is, I don't think a lot of people actually know about the way warranties work. So for instance, some manufacturer warranties do transfer to the second owner and some don't. That's kind of interesting because if you then buy a used vehicle, a lot of times you're thinking that you do get that manufacturer warranty that's left over from the previous owner. Some of them you do but some of them you don't. So I wanted to cover that a little bit. Bumper to bumper warranty, I'll be going over that. It essentially covers everything about the vehicle that is not your own wrongdoing, perhaps. Like let's say you run into a light pole, you're getting into an accident, that obviously isn't gonna be covered under warranty. Powertrain warranty being the mechanics, essentially covering things like the engine, the transmission, the drivetrain, etc. anything that actually powers the vehicle. And then you have your anti-corrosion warranties or the anti-rust warranties, really. So if the car's paint decides to peel on you before that warranty is up, the manufacturer will pay to have that repainted for you. It's always a plus. And in the event of a tiebreaker between these warranties I'm about to cover, I'm going to include things like complimentary maintenance if a manufacturer includes that and really anything to actually save you guys some money. So hopefully it helps for that reason alone. But so anyways, having said all of that, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And working our way down to number one, let's go ahead and start with number 10 on the list. And so number 10 on my list is going to be Buick. And so Buick for 2019 offered a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty, six year, 70,000 mile powertrain warranty. However, for 2020, that is reduced slightly. So one of the changes for this year, three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper, five year, 60,000 mile powertrain with a three year, 36,000 mile anti-corrosion warranty. And I will say they do give you one year, 10,000 miles of complimentary maintenance if you were interested as well. So they will slot in on number 10 on the list, but now let's go ahead and make our way to number nine. And so number nine on my list is going to be BMW. Four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper, four year, 50,000 mile powertrain, battery warranty. This is something I'm going to mention for certain manufacturers because not every manufacturer does hybrids and battery powered cars quite yet, but battery warranty for BMW is going to be eight year, 100,000 miles. And that's going to include, of course, the hybrid components and essentially the electric battery itself. But three year, 36,000 mile complimentary maintenance. That's huge. That is also actually included on any new BMW as well. And then making our way to number eight. Previously, if I were to do this video before, this particular manufacturer probably would have been number one, but now sitting at number eight being Volkswagen. And so Volkswagen drastically changed their warranty from the 2019 model year. In 2019, they were sitting at six years, 72,000 mile bumper to bumper and powertrain warranties. That was the very best back then. However, for 2020, they did switch that up, of course. 2020 gives you a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper, four year, 50 50,000 mile powertrain, still respectable, I gotta be honest, but not as good as the 2019 warranty, of course. But included with that, I kinda to make up for that, that lack of previous warranty that they had in 2019, they will now offer for 2020, two years, 20,000 mile free complimentary maintenance. That includes things like oil changes, tire rotations, things like that, essentially. But so anyways, that is gonna be the number eight. Let's now go ahead and make our way to number seven, which is going to be Lexus. And so Lexus includes a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty, six year, 70,000 mile powertrain warranty. And once again, like BMW, eight year, 100,000 mile hybrid component warranties, including the batteries, of course. And they will also give you one year, 10,000 miles of complimentary maintenance as well. But so then yet another luxury brand on the list coming in at number six being Infinity. And so when it comes to Infinity's warranty, that is going to be four years, 60,000 mile bumper to bumper, six years, 70,000 mile powertrain. And unfortunately with Infinity, there is no free maintenance there, but still a very respectable warranty. That is why they are going to come in at number six. Make your way to number five on the list being Jaguar. And so five year, 60,000 mile bumper to bumper, five year, 60,000 mile powertrain, 
And here it is. Here's the kicker with Jaguar. They have the very best free maintenance plan of all other manufacturers out there right now. So when it comes to complimentary maintenance for Jaguar, they give you five years, 60,000 miles, just like the warranty of complimentary free maintenance. So that is a heck of a deal there. To go along with that, once again, eight year, 100,000 mile battery or hybrid component warranty for Jaguar as well. But now, Number four on our list being Kia. And so this is where I gotta say, we're really getting into the good stuff here. So when it comes to Kia, they do give you five year, 60,000 mile bumper to bumper, just like Jaguar. However, they will give you a 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. So if you drive less than 10,000 miles a year, you have their warranty for up to 10 years when it comes to the engine transmission and drivetrain and things like that. That is wonderful, especially if you were to get, let's say, a Kia Stinger GT with a twin turbo V6. How often do you see twin turbo V6s warrantied for 10 years? That's amazing. But here's the kicker with that 10 year powertrain warranty. It does apply to the original owner only. So if you were to buy a used Kia Stinger or used Kia at all, that 10 year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty will not apply to you. However, the bumper to bumper warranty is transferable. So you will still get that, just not the 10 year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty there. But having said that, Kia does also make hybrid and battery powered vehicles. When it comes to their battery warranty, it is 10 years, 100,000 miles. So slightly more years, same mileage as some of the previous companies there, but so that's gonna be there for you. And Kia also offers actually roadside assistance coverage for five years and 60,000 miles. So that is a big old plus as well there. But now let's go ahead and make our way to number three on the list. And so here's one a lot of people might not actually know about. Number three on the list for best warranties is actually Mitsubishi. And so the reason why, five year, 60,000 mile bumper to bumper, once again, 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain, just like Kia. And although Mitsubishi does not offer any free maintenance, they do give you five years unlimited miles of roadside assistance. So that's where they're gonna differ from Kia and that's why they slot in before Kia actually on my list. And they do one better actually with that roadside assistance. They actually give that to the primary and the secondary owners as well. So if you were to buy a Mitsubishi that was used or pre-owned, you will also get that roadside assistance if you are the second owner. So that is something to consider if you were looking at a used Mitsubishi as well. So that is why Mitsubishi slots in at number three on my list and now let me now get to number two on my list and part of the reason why I am currently driving the 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe today and so a few years ago I bought our 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe and along with many other reasons the warranty was definitely something we considered my family when we actually got this one and part of the reason is because Hyundai does give you a five-year 60,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty 10-year 100,000 mile powertrain again for the original owner only again part of the reason why we bought it new we do get that powertrain warranty so that's a big plus and that powertrain warranty I really can't stress that enough part of the reason is because it does apply to all all of their vehicles, including cars like the Hyundai Veloster N. That is their turbocharged hot hatch, so to speak. So competing with cars like the Volkswagen Golf GTI, competing with cars like the Honda Civic Type R. So that is definitely a huge plus for a performance car like that to be warrantied for 10 years, 100,000 miles when it comes to the engine transmission and drivetrain. That's a big plus there. And like with Mitsubishi and Kia, of course, the bumper to bumper warranty does transfer if you were to get a used Hyundai. So that's something to consider as well if you're looking to go that route. But here's why Hyundai slots in before Kia and Mitsubishi, you guys. Three years, 36,000 mile complimentary maintenance is now offered, now comes standard on every Hyundai sold as of February 2020. So this was a recent change. It just happened last month. So that's why I'm saying there's so much new movement in the 2020 warranty world right now. And that is going to be included in every new Hyundai purchased for 2020. You get three years, 36,000 miles of free complimentary oil changes, tire rotations, and things like that. So that's a huge benefit if you were looking to get a new Hyundai. And the weird thing about that is you guys probably know Kia is kind of the sister company that Hyundai purchased. Kia doesn't offer for that yet but Hyundai does so something to consider as well to go along with that when it comes to Hyundai five-year unlimited miles of roadside assistance and here's the best part if you were looking to get a hybrid vehicle or a electric vehicle 
If you go with Hyundai, one of theirs, as opposed to Tesla or any of the other manufacturers, Hyundai has the very best warranty when it comes to electric vehicles, being that the hybrid components are actually warranted for the lifetime of the vehicle. So if you get an EV, if you get the new Hyundai Kona EV, that battery on that SUV is warranted forever. That is crazy and a huge incentive to purchase a Hyundai electric vehicle as opposed to let's say a Tesla or a BMW or really any other electric vehicle out there. That is pretty cool. Along with that, Hyundai also gives you a seven year unlimited mileage anti-perforation warranty or anti-rust warranty once again. And although all of that warranty sounds absolutely amazing, I can tell you because somebody is going to ask, I've had no issues whatsoever in my 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe. It's got 30,000 miles on it. Of course, hopefully you wouldn't think there would be any issues, but there isn't, so I haven't had to use any of those warranties. So in case anybody was curious about the vehicle I'm driving right now, no, I've had no issues with my personal Hyundai, so that's always a plus too. But now let's go ahead and make our way to number one on the list, and wouldn't you know, it is a brand associated with Hyundai being their performance luxury division named Genesis. Genesis is number one on the warranty list because of course you have the five year 60,000 mile bumper to bumper, 10 year 100,000 mile powertrain. Once again, only applying to the original owner though. But the cool thing once again about that is they have that twin turbo V6 found in cars like their G70, like their G80 Sport and G90. And that is a heck of an engine. Whenever you put twin turbos on a V6, you have stellar acceleration. And the fact that they warranty that acceleration, that fun, is absolutely amazing, so I love that. Three years, 36,000 miles of complimentary maintenance also included, five year unlimited mileage for roadside assistance, seven year unlimited mileage anti-perforation warranty, all of this is identical to Hyundai. However, the reason I had to put Genesis at number one, because again, they are pretty darn similar to Hyundai, they are essentially the same company, is that Genesis does offer one feature that Hyundai does not, and that is gonna be coverage for three years, 36,000 miles for a service valet. That is something Hyundai has yet to do. And so what that actually is, is when you do need to schedule an oil change or a tire rotation or whatever, of course it is covered for the first three years, 36,000 miles, just like Hyundai. But with Genesis, you just call them up They'll bring a loaner to your house, they'll take your vehicle, they'll do whatever they need to do, and then they'll drop it back off when you're done. So if you never wanted to leave your house, Genesis is really the way to go because they got you covered there and that is why they are my number one. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this little switch up, a little change of a video there, and hopefully you found it helpful as well, maybe in your future purchase of any vehicle. So that is about it for this one, you guys. Do appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here primarily on this channel. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.